All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to God Eater 3. I never finished God Eater 1. I think I have some videos on that on YouTube, but I never finished putting up the series, and then I got busy, and then, well, no, I never finished recording the series, got busy, couldn't record more, never got to God Eater 2, and then God Eater 3 just kind of came out, and I'm like, you know what, screw it, let's just start here, and if we ever feel like going back to them, we can, but for now, let's just dive right in. I don't know too many changes, but the uh, the game looks a lot nicer than the previous two. Because I don't think this one's a PSP port. It's also got like two new weapons, which I'm excited to try out. Just because. I'm like, am I supposed to control this? <laughs> Don't look so worried. We're not gonna die. I promise you that. Next is PW-01408. That's you. We will now begin the Age Aptitude Test. Please try to relax. Stage one, inducing ash blight corruption. <laughs> ash blight corruption has been confirmed. Now progressing to stage two, mounting god arc. is complete. You are now an adaptive god eater. So you survived. Grade A. Oh, I haven't seen your kind around here before. How does it feel to give up your humanity? <laughs> hey, don't go and croak on us, okay? Your life belongs to the port now. You're of no use, dead. Here, I'm gonna need you to sign this contract. All right, we can now become <laughs> name protagonist. I'm sorry, not not my series. No. What the? No 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 no. Fine. There's just enough room, barely. What's our code name? What is our code name? Duh. Alright, so hairstyles, what do we got? So we've got Harry Mess. Harry Mess. Uh isn't this just Archer? That's Archer. Alright, Harry Mess. Less of a Harry Mess. Kinda starting to get a little on the eh, it's okay. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna hold off on that for a little bit. All right, what faces do we have? Do we have like any particularly doofy faces that we could go with? I like this guy. He doesn't seem like he's happy to be here. <laughs> oh, we also get different choices on, oh, eyes. I got it. Eh, let's go with that one. All right, we need accessories though. That's that's what I'm here for. That's what, that's what changes what Captain Anime is. 
So there's like a skull thing, a butterfly. Hmm. I'm hoping they have the... Oh, they actually have physics on the frizz now. That's cool. How ridiculous do some of these get? Eh, because they're not that ridiculous. Not an anime game. Oh, you can even have multicolored extensions, of course. Not an anime game without those. Oh, wow. Yeah, they get uh, considerable. Where's my goofy blindfold? What's this one? Off the back. I want my goofy blindfold. Well, then again, these like weird wing things are pretty great. <laughs> I could have a cute little bow. Oh, boy. <laughs> what was that, Shell? The tufts were cute. I don't know, this bow's pretty cute, though. Doesn't that read Captain Anime? <laughs> Reads Kiki delivery, Kiki's delivery service, to be totally honest. Uh, let's see, why are you covered in duct tape? Why aren't you covered in duct tape? I had a Halloween costume once when I was in, uh, in high school, where I effectively just covered my pants and my sweatshirt in duct tape and whatever, and I had a mask and stuff. And... More or less, I'd, like, lay around in the yard until people showed up. At which point, I'd, like, you know, just sit up and, like, approach them with candy. And usually, they'd run away screaming. Uh, for obvious reasons. Okay, so the answers are, there's no... Well, no, there might still be a... I'm just gonna give them... That. There might still be a blindfold in here. We gotta just keep going. Okay, here we go. So, we've got some swank glasses. <laughs> Some really silly sunglasses. Oh boy. I don't know. I think I think we found our I think we found our thing. Alternatively, I could just have the eye patch over the single eye that you can see. Uh let's see, adhesive bandage, gauze, bandages too. More bandages. I should probably here, let's just go with this. Let's let's switch to a hairstyle where you can see the whole face. Because I think that's kind of important. Let's go with this one, because it gives us a good good idea of everything that's going on here. Alright, so, there's that. There's headgear. I kind of wish you could multi-up on these. Oh, sweet! We could go full-on, um... We could go on uh, go full-on Persona 5 with this. With a face mask. Isn't, it, isn't that just straight-up the Code Vein face mask? No, no, the Code Vein one is a little bit more advanced than this. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything goofier? There's some face paint. I'm really feeling those sunglasses. <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> One of these things is not like the others. The amount of effort that went into the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look great. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm I'm liking the sunglasses for Captain Anime, but the face mask, not the not this one, the the red mask. This is actually pretty sweet for Captain Anime. Oh, I don't know. I just I think if I'm going to do Captain Anime, the sunglasses are necessary. Cuz the mask is kind of amusing. But I feel like I feel like sunglasses are are necessary if we're going to be Captain Anime. We should switch away from the. Uh, I I mean the bunny ears are hilarious. Uh, we could go with the cute dog ears, which also have duct tape on them for some reason. Uh, cat ears. I mean, honestly, well, no, the military beret looks hilarious. <laughs> I I don't know. Let's see. You realize you've made a Ruby character. I mean, God Eater. I Ruby is absolutely inspired by God Eater. Let's be honest here. There's, there's got to be some level of crossover between those two. I'm honestly surprised that they uh, haven't tried to like work with uh, Namco Bandai on such things. I like the fact that you can get a goddamn hair buckle. Who does that? But yeah, the beret is, is real small. I feel like we should have... If we're Captain Anime, we've got to have, like, the duo duotone hair. There we go. Let's go extensions. I don't actually know if you can change the color of the extensions. Anyway, what color of hair can we go with?
I mean, if I go red, it kind of works. It actually looks... It fits pretty well. Uh, can we sh change the shine color? We can. Oh, press Y? Oh, can I do that with the sunglasses? I can. Oh yeah, red sunglasses, absolutely. Okay, ext extensions. So we can change the colors on these. Blue, hmm. I, I, honestly, this kind of works as a cohesive look. But let's, uh, let's go back to this. Okay, let's, let's make that pink. Go back to hair color. Let's... Oh, it's Y plus L. Change. Okay, let's... Let's make it, like, a really vibrant. Uh, maybe not, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch the, uh, the colors around. Okay, that's good. Can we... Can we... Oh, we can max out shine? Heck yeah, we are shiny as hell. This character has not washed himself in his entire lifetime. Alright, shine color. It is currently blue. I mean, we could keep it pink, but I think the blue kind of works. I'm not really sure. We're gonna... We're going to spend more time creating this character than I think most people would like me to. Uh, but, grand scheme of things, it happens. Let's let's have the little bit of blue. Let's, let's see if there's some better, better ones. Oh, ooh, extension number five is real tempting. Make it blue so we, yeah, that's goofy, that's goofy nonsense. We could also go with like the swoop, which actually fits really well with the hair. What's this one? Yeah, that whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Otherwise, we could do these. I don't know. I'm feeling I'm feeling the the wild anime swoop right now. Let's go wild anime swoop. I can switch these around freely. Okay, voice. I'll stop, I'll stop them. Right there. That is a really deep default voice. Hot dang. I'm liking three though. Eh, maybe not. I'm liking 16. He had some great lines. Okay. So, uh, the last thing is I should probably take a look at alternate hairstyles with my current setup. Oh, they even change the swoop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. They- all of the swoops look dumb. Except for maybe, like, it works kind of well with this one. If I wanted to be the judgmental Captain Anime, as opposed to the, like, anime Captain Anime. But I think we gotta go anime Captain Anime, just because. I mean, this is pretty anime hair. Alright, we're good. And I think we can change some amount of this. Hairstyle, hair color, accessories, A and B. Oh, right. Face. No. We want- we want the, uh, angry disapproval of a Captain Anime that's been through this a couple of times at this point. Kinda, sort of. Admittedly, I never finished them, but whatever. That's a tight shirt, hot dang. Come on. Let's go. Hey, you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Bad dream or something? Anyway, rise and shine. I went ahead and asked about our next job. It's in a pretty thick spot. Looks like there's not too much time left for you and me, huh? Fighting an ash this thick will ruin a body in no time. And if we can't work, 
Well, I doubt the folks at the port will want to look after us. Eventually, we're either going to run out of the bias factor we need to live, or we'll end up as origami snacks or bait, and that'll be that. A time-honored end for ages like you and me. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen to us. I promise. After all, we've got too much riding on our shoulders. We'll keep going for the ones we couldn't save. It's a vow I made to them all. I'm never going to give up, no matter what happens. So, that's that. We are not dying. The two of us will keep moving forward, on to whatever tomorrow brings. Alright, new accessory A and B items have been added. You can encrypt these by going to the loadout of the terminal. Why didn't you just give them to me earlier? We just finished character- Ah! Ah! Okay. Uh, so, hello. Fellow children, I grew up really fast. Don't don't mind me. I, I belong here. Uh, uh <laughs> wow, this walking is real weird. I guess we should probably talk to them. I wonder if we'll be fighting outside soon. I'm not scared, honest. I need to go pick up trash again. Please let there be no origami. This looks a lot better than the previous games. <laughs> if only because everything's specular now. Uh, 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 I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. I want to play a game like this where you're just like... You like actually manage the, uh, everybody in the squad that you're working with. Like micromanage them. And it actually like depends on how you equip them and build them and whatnot. And what missions you send them on. Or they like come back with grievous injuries and then you feel really guilty about that. There's probably games that are like that. I don't know. I mean... And a fire emblem, sort of, not really. I don't know. You can double check the details on the monitor. They said it's high density ash acclimation. Get prepped at the terminal, let's move out. Well, at least the intro is pretty quick ish. Ash density certification is requested for new zones of action. Please execute acclimation programs tw uh, 216 through 234. I guess XCOM, but like, I'm talking characters that you actually care about, as opposed to just like kind of faceless mooks. Here you can accept new missions. You can also filter the mission list. So we're just starting off as, as slave child, and they're just chucking us at things. No preamble. Why not? All right. Ash density certification. Due to scheduled operations in high-density ash environments, the following personnel are required to complete this program. PW01408. Wait, what? I changed mine to anime. All right, whatever. Juice switch allies will accompany you on the mission. Blah, blah, blah. We're good. Any unforeseen accidents during the mission are your own responsibility. Be extra careful to ensure the god arcs remain undamaged. Once you accept the mission, you can talk to the guard to head out. This is messed up. If these are the people you're using to, like, clean up all the monsters outside, you'd think you'd give them slightly better beds. Man. I gotta... I'll, I hope they explain why they're putting everybody in, like, weird super slave bends. Because, like... I'm gonna be honest, if I had to sleep like this, I'd be real, real crappy in a fight. Wait, do they just sleep on sheet metal? That's stretched across a not-even mattress? Holy shit! That's bad! You're heading out. Don't worry, if you don't come back, I can easily replace a whole lot of you. You better not think about making a will, either. I refuse to deal with the paperwork. I'm opening the door now. Man! Some, somebody up top has a real, real casual disregard for human resources. I like it how everything's still melty, like years later. Damn it! I can't see. Where is it? Where's the origami? Our lines are crossed. What team are you with? Requesting salvage. Please, I don't want to die! Forget them. They're already origami, Chow. You've got your own jobs to do, so get to them. 
Hurry up and let us loose. I am now releasing the restraints on Pennyward Ages Hound 1 and Hound 2. Alright, you dogs. Sick them. I'm limiting your operation area. If you try to do any moonlighting, well, you know what happens. Yeah, we know. Shall we? We'll make it out of this. Follow the program you were given and acclimate to the Ashlands. Once you're acclimated, return immediately. The fetters will be written off. That is all. Something unexpected might happen. If it does, I'll use my own judgment. Unnecessary combat may result in the loss of God Arcs. Thus, fighting is prohibited. Proceed with tests to confirm effectiveness in high ash density conditions. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Oh, the music is damn good. Right. Kind of loud. I'll turn it down next time. Uh, next time we get a menu. I am sorry about this. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's kind of loud. Look straight ahead for me. Well, this is a better tutorial than God Eater 1. God Eater 1's tutorial was handholdy. Let's move. Follow me. I wonder if we can do infinite bullet cheese again. Oh, that's cool. Deploys a shield while leaping forward. Team is operating there. Yeah, sure. The ones with their wires crossed? Keep a safe distance. Let's play it safe for now. It's funny how no matter how hairy it gets, I always have fun when you're around. I say nothing. Because that is my thing. Climb on up. It's always an advantage in a fight. Looking down on Aragami crawling beneath you feels pretty good too. Jump, climb up while hanging. You can climb up while hanging. Wait. <laughs> they tell you how to do it, and it says. I'm surrounded by origami, requesting salvage. This is Hound One. I'm at Point Alpha. Can you break through their line? Understood. I'll get through somehow. Do we even have a climb spot? To transmit. You want to get written up? Hey, you can't blame me for being curious. Idiot. Still got some stamina? It's easy to get winded this deep in the Ashlands. Okay, so we got some things that we can pick up over here. Whoops. Flawed jewel steel. Do you read me? I made it through the line. En route to point alpha. All right. We'll clear out the origami in the area. Proceed with caution. I owe you for this. You do not have permission to transmit. Don't make me tell you again. You haven't completed the acclimation program. Proceed with your assigned mission. If we Everything is so melty. Ashlands, who gives a crap about acclimation? You'll be disciplined for insubordination. I hope you're ready for that. Sure, whatever you say. Now quit looking over my shoulder. Saying we're fighting in dense ash is enough of an excuse, right? You'll regret this. I, I've already forgotten how to do my shield dash. I also really have to turn down this music. It is bombastic. It's good. How do I lock on? Oh, I guess we are locked on. All right. You seem comfortable enough in a fight. You can fight in gun form too. See if you can transform for me. Gun form. Change forms. Now that doesn't recharge unless I actually attack. Company. Let's go. Okay. Oh, so the uh the switch just that's a much faster switch than it used to be. I the game feel is better. I will give it that.
you. Yep, and I'm out of OP. I can't wait until we can get the uh, the infinite bullet generation combo going again. You can fight in blade form to restore your supply. Let's see. Left trigger A is the shield dash. Nope. There we go. It's right trigger A. That was what it was. I was like, I've already forgotten this. There's a couple of things. The tutorial is a bit repetitive. Also, welcome Stumped and Associated Raiders. How are you guys doing? Welcome to one of the more anime games to come out this year. Already. Well, and probably for the rest of the year. Uh, <laughs> it's God Eater 3. It's... I like it. This is a weird series. It's very overdramatic. But it's fun. Way. Anime is twitching out. Don't give up so easily. Nobody's got time to wipe your nose for you here. Okay, time to head home and get in our cells. This is a goodie? I, can I grab? No. Did I get the goodie over here? No, I didn't. Okay, gotta grab. Yoink! Okay. So we get some gap. Uh, it's this. And rank bonus. Okay, I will turn the uh, sound up when we get the chance. We got some stuff. It it feels so much more streamlined than the old games. I really like that. Music was better too. Just loud. <laughs> Don't worry. Everyone made it back okay. A good result for us. We might do as the port folks want. Work ourselves to the bone, get dragged to hell and back. But that doesn't mean we're willing to give up our lives without a good fight. A place where ages can live out their lives without being controlled or pushed around by anyone. That's what we need, right? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> the guards went to town on you this time, didn't they? Bet that hurts. You never do as you're told, huh? Bet it's hell getting teamed up with this guy. <laughs> I didn't know you were back from patrol, Zeke. Yep, that's right. All done with my work for today. Listen, man, next time you should come out with me. Come on. I thought you were smarter than that. Having a chance to work with THE Zeke Pennyworth should be enough to make you weep for joy. <laughs> Maybe you should mention how good you are. <laughs> Hugo's always so by the book, it must have been boring out there with him. Come on, I'll show you a real cool trick next time. This isn't a sport, Zeke. Look, I know that. You think I don't know that? Anyway, did you hear the recent news? One of the other teams was saying that a port nearby got swallowed by the ash. That's the first I've heard of it. But it's not exactly news for ports to get engulfed by the Ashlands. Sure, it's no surprise when it's some base somewhere. But how will you feel when the ash is creeping closer and closer? Are you talking about an ash storm? Yeah, well... If one of those ash storms does come through, it's not like there's a whole lot we can do other than strap in and pray, right? Yeah, that's about the size of it. Though, even then, riding one out isn't all that realistic. Okay, so, let's follow through with my, uh, promise. Let's go sound. I like these settings. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna turn down the music a bunch. It was just a little punchy. It's a shame because it gets kind of quiet during the cutscenes, but I do not want... I do not want it to be like blasting uh, actually fairly decent music over the characters. Like you gotta hear me first, then the characters, then the music, then the sound effects. Generally in that order. Anyway. Hello. I am very slow in here. I just got back and there's already more work waiting for me. I guess if you're as good as me, you're always in demand. You know what I mean, right? No. Huh? Alright, whatever. Thing is, there's a problem with my god arc shield deployment, so I'm benched for now. Huh. 
All right, and Sop Child. Joe doesn't look very well. Just the other day, he tried to stay out too long in the Ashlands. He sure is a handful sometimes. Are you show? Nope, that is Mar. Hey, who do you think's tougher, Hugo or Zeke? Me. Wait, really? I was never all that impressed before, but I guess I was wrong. He brought me some souvenirs again. I have to find a way to sneak him past the guards. I'll just toss him out his junk. Alright, can I switch my weapons? Uh, manage bullets, okay. So, I want to work with, on one of these. Can I, can I not? Oh, we can't do any bullet crafting? Dang it. Doesn't look like I can do any customization either. I guess we're just stuck with this until later on. The issued mission has been revised. The Godark performance test now takes priority. Please check the details. Yeah, so we're stuck with tutorial land for a little while. Oh. You can change your weapon over here. Ah, got it. All right, so equip. Ah, blah, blah, blah. So load out instead of blah, 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 blah. Okay, so instead of the twin knife, we've got the blade, the buster, the maul, the lance, the scythe. I've been using the twin blades, which... Are they the new ones? This is a new one. They added two new weapon types. I know the ring is, is one of the two. I want to say the twin blades might be. Let's see, let me know if you want to try the multiplayer. Yeah, we can. I don't know how far you have to get before then. Oh yeah, biting biting edge is the is the new one. Well, I'm gonna try the uh, the circle because it <laughs> looks ridiculous. Okay, so it also looks like we get some special skills that we can unlock as we go along. Uh, these are things that I will mess with later. Mainly because I don't have anything else anyway. Item prep, no. Allies, personal abilities, data, save, multiplayer. Alright, create a team. Uh, let's see, team number, max player count, four. Password is going to be no. Uh, let's see, playstyle any, chat on, story progress, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... Y'all should, uh, if y'all want to join me... Feel free to. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so I guess I'm just straight up uh, open at this point. Well, uh, if any of you guys have this on PC, uh, I between missions I will uh, more or less just open the lobby up if anybody wants to join me so I'm not just followed by a bunch of NPCs. It's not a big deal, but uh, I, I figure, hey, if I've got open spots and people want to help out, then let's, let's do that. And... Uh, I guess if uh, nobody's waiting, well, if nobody's waiting, then I'm just going to get to the first, like, mission where I can actually do some hunts. I'll let some people catch up, because it sounds like still downloading and just starting the tutorial, so that's easy enough. So, it also doesn't look like we can do any bullet crafting yet. Oh, just disband, it might be on your end. Yes. Let's try that again. I didn't realize uh, you were already wait ready and waiting. Okay, ah, it doesn't save the settings. Dang. All right. So we actually, uh, we have Pyro Salamander. Welcome back. We've been busy, I think, doing job stuff, probably. Anyway, so now we've got, uh, co-op going. And yeah, if anybody else wants to join me, just let me know in chat, and we'll get it, we'll get it going. And for those of you that watch on YouTube, I don't actually have a proper stream schedule for this because I'm going to be moving. I'm going to try and record a bunch of this over the next couple days, uh, before I go, but then after that, I don't know what my schedule is going to be. Anyway, let's... This mission. Okay. Standard mission. Okay, so we've already done the certifications, so we want to do shield tests. Looks like. D2 through D6 have been removed and revised. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Oh. Pyro is not authorized to join. I got it. So we got to go redo that previous one. All right. Well, that's not the end of the world. All right, now that we've got that little intermission out of the way, let's, uh... Because I actually haven't shown off the half moon. I was going to switch things, but no. Okay, so we got to do the... We got to do... Okay, we're done with that, so shield test revised. Oh, wait, no. Got to wait for Pyro to get through plot stuff. Oh, there he is. Okay. So now he's probably cleared to go. Oh, you can run, run like this. 
Standard mission, rank one. Still not authorized to join Pyro. What is wrong? Anybody you have to tell? Oh, you probably have to talk to Zeke, maybe? Because if you had the cutscene with Zeke and stuff, you should be good to go. Unless it's one of those dumb things where we have to, like, switch off somehow. Nope. Now it's, now it's available. Okay. This is timing. Okay. And at least we'll be, uh, synced up, so this shouldn't work. Uh, this shouldn't hold us back. Until we start adding more people to this. We'll figure it out. I had to talk to Zeke. I didn't realize you had to do that. Alright. Guard man. I m wish to kill things. <laughs> I've had it with people bang uh, banging up the guard arcs. These things ain't cheap, you know. They just go MIA. At least save us on the repair costs. What? What about replacing them? Isn't, like, replacing these things ridiculously expensive? I want to, <laughs> I want to play a management game for one of these where you also have to pay for all of the, like, ridiculous damage you do. Like, what's a good example of a game with extreme, game anime with extreme collateral damage? I'm going to guess fairy tale. Let's see if the God Ark repairs worked. We can start off with your shield. A good offense is the best defense, but blocking attacks is a nice way to stay alive. That is an awkward turn. Yeah, EDF. Oh, dude. Having to pay for, like, repair bills in EDF would be hilarious. Whoa, that was cool. That's some tricks. Oh. Still, there are a lot of items to choose from. Gotta use what's right for the moment, I guess. Yum yum. Okay, so we've got Zeke with us. Was there an item okay. up here? There is an item so up here. Far, we still got some time, so let's do some scavenging. There's stuff flying around here and there, right? We pick it up. We need materials these days. Any spoils we pick up we... outside of our job. There are to keep. I like the fact that there's like little like light beacons that actually go pretty high up into the sky. I found plastic. Makes it kind of easy to spot these, though it doesn't look like the gather points change. And considering how much repetition there are in these games, I'm probably going to get pretty used to gathering everything on the field. Let's see. Consuming gives both burst and is the carv carving. That That's this, right? And I will turn down the music even further. Because... Nope, oh, missed that one. If I remember right... Nope. That it? Hi, <laughs> Raw. Nope. There we go. No, my stuff. Got it. Just barely. I think I got it. I think I get the item. I hope I did. Let's see, if I remember right, you can do a jump devour that's faster. Alright. Got some stuff. Oh. Oh, we got the blueprints to make these things. I hope they have even more weapon variety in this one. I liked the weapon variety in God Eater 1 and 2, but... I don't know. Be interesting if there are ones that had like different swing speeds and reach and stuff. Probably not gonna happen though. Hey, did you hear? Another age has gone missing. Sent out on a mission while still wounded. Not a lot of hope. Damn it. We're nothing but tools in their eyes. It's unforgivable. 
Yeah, but we don't have the strength to do anything about it now. Still. Anyway, I won't just lie down and die. Hey, thanks for helping me fix up my god arc. I really appreciate it. Now the whole thing works like a dream. You saw me, right? I was so awesome. I can fight for me and the kids again. Yeah, that's great. Haha. <laughs> no need to say it. I know you're uh I know what you're thinking. If we can't fight, it's bad news. If that's the case, the kids will be up next. They're not really fighters now, are they? Powers that be want to cut down on the number of the kids that can't fight. Because it costs money to keep them. It really pisses me off. Isn't it, like, kind of hard to raise child soldiers? Okay, field test covering the god arc's special features has been assigned. So this is... Probably learning consume stuff. E7 certification. Test the purpose. Uh, test purposes. Measure an adaptive god it. God eaters abilities. Use the god arc to devour form in combat. Blah 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 blah. Got it. Yeah, it feels a lot slicker and a lot faster than God Eater One and Two. I didn't play a whole lot of two. But definitely slicker. And this was made, I think, largely for modern platforms. I don't... Did they make this for uh, Vita or anything like that? I, I don't think so. Look it up. I don't want to hear anything about you slacking off out there today. We regularly send battle, re battle result feedback to Glepnir. Based on those results, we stand to benefit greatly. So don't screw it up, okay? Okay. 